What's going on guys? So yes, it's been a minute since I have done a workout video for anything besides chest or push. And honestly, it's because my glute, as many of you guys know, have been ex has been extremely messed up. And uh, anyway, so I started going to physio. So I've done two appointments now and I've gotten dry needling done, all kinds of other stuff. I've been doing my exercises or whatever. And uh, it actually is starting to feel better, tolerable. So last night, I didn't wake up in the middle of the night in pain for the first time in about six weeks. So that's incredible. Um, makes my life a lot better and makes me really happy. So I got dry needling done. I've never let anybody do this to me. Um, honestly, because nobody explained the benefit of it to a good enough extent that I wanted people, that I wanted needles to me. This doesn't appeal to me at all. I, it makes no sense. I hate needles. Okay, I'm sorry. That's just me. So anyway, explain it to me. And it hurts like hell. And uh, basically they put it in or whatever and they uh, put the electricity on the area and shock it or whatever. And whatever they're doing, it's working. So it's a few of those. And then we go in, we went in the gym and he looked at like my squat, all this stuff, where it hurts, what part of my glute it is. And pretty much what we determined is that... Uh, my quads have been taking over all of my lifting. So this is pretty obvious if you can go back and watch some of my videos, like my squats in particular. My knee comes in on my left side because my glute isn't activating or wasn't activating. So essentially I've been doing all kinds of things to learn how to activate my glute because we were doing things and I physically, I wasn't able to activate my left glute. Wasn't able to do it. I could on my right side, not on my left. So that was always the issue. Um, so once I've Anyway, we went over all kinds of stuff. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to be doing light squats and deadlifts for the first time in a while. I'm going to show you the new way I'm getting into position and what I'm thinking about. Um, just some breathing patterns, all kinds of stuff that honestly, if I had gotten a coach, I probably would have known this stuff, but uh, I never did that. So what I have right here is an espresso, a couple of espresso shots. Yeah. Frig, that's that's really hot. Okay, anyway, so a couple espresso shots. So I'm gonna drink this massive coffee on the way to the gym. It's a good thumbnail. Best pre-workout going. Anyway, so and I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna start with light deadlifts, like literally going through the motions. But I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna do a voiceover and talk to you guys about what I'm thinking about during the reps. And yeah, show you guys pretty much exactly what's going on. So that being said, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm um, because it helps this video out a lot. If you like the video, more people will see it. So like the video, please. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And even if you don't like the video, like it now. And after the video, you can dislike it to let me know if you don't want to see this type of content. So you have to hit one. You have to either have to hit the like button or hit the down button. I'd prefer it if you hit the like button. So do that, please. So anyway, that being said, let's drink this. Let's go to the gym and uh, hit an actual deadlift for the first time in about, oh, well, well over a month. So uh, let's do it. All right, so I just realized that this isn't really that hot. I don't know why it felt hot. So we're just gonna do this right quick. Shot of espresso, you guys can't see it. Yeah. Tim Horton's coffee, man. There's something about freaking Tim's coffee that tastes like crap. Is it only me? Sorry, I'm going to be a rant for a second. Is it only me? Or does Tim Horton's coffee have a weird freaking taste to it? Like it's burnt. Is that just me? Because I've been noticing lately that whenever I get Tim's coffee, it tastes like absolute ass. So, uh, I don't know, man. Tim's, you got to step your game up. Because, like, I would go to McDonald's, but it's too far away. So, that's the only reason I go to Tim's. Because it's freaking convenient. And the only thing they have good, I like their sausage farmer's wraps. Not gonna lie, your sausage farmer wraps are pretty freaking good. Everything else, and an ice cap on occasion. Everything else sucks. And honestly, it's pissing me off because I come here and get a coffee and I just have a shot of espresso. I don't really care. But you go to Starbucks and get a shot of espresso, it costs way more. And like for the I'm not gonna sit down and enjoy this. So taking the shot of it, not the end of the world, because it's like two bucks for two shots of espresso or something. We're pretty sure like Starbucks charging like five dollars. So that's fine, but for an actual coffee, you go and spend two bucks on a coffee, but it tastes like crap, it tastes like chemicals. I don't know what it is, but let me know in the comment section down below if you notice the same thing. But I'm gonna shut up, take this, and let's go. Okay, so we're at the gym here, and as you can see, I'm starting off with some deadlifts. So what I'm doing is I'm doing 
really focusing on squeezing through my glutes and exhaling as I lift. So um, something I was working on is my breathing, the setup, all of it together. So that was just the warm up with a, a plate. I definitely feel it in my glute. So if you see there, so I'm putting my hands on my hips, doing a proper uh, um, setup, where basically I shoot my glutes back while keeping them tight and suck my core in and uh, pivot over. So this is what you should really be thinking about during the deadlift anyway. It's kind of something that I haven't really been doing. At the same time, I'm also focusing on driving my left knee out during the movement because a lot of the times, if you go back and look at my videos, my left knee has always wobbled. And if your left knee comes in, it deactivates your glute. So by forcing it to stay out, um, I'm activating my glute more. So this one actually felt really good. As you can see, um, moved pretty easily. I mean, it's only two plates. Uh, this was, so 315, um, honestly felt pretty good. As you can see, my glute's still shooting up a little bit. Um, it's loose, like you see where it goes up about a quarter of an inch there on the rep. So that's an issue and uh, that's something that we're obviously working on because it will prevent further injuries. So anyway, 315 for five, overhand grip, felt pretty good. Then I got a little bit uh, excited and I did four out of five just for three reps. But as you can see here, my knee starts to wobble that left knee, you see that? So I'm losing tightness to my glute and it's something that I'm gonna really have to focus on uh, so that I fix my glute strength and don't injure myself. So anyway, then we moved on to squats here. Um, very light, 135. I'm focusing on driving my knees out, keeping my core tight and squeezing through my glutes through the entire rep. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take a long time to build everything up. Um, the strength is still there, but I really wanna make sure that the glute, I build up my glute strength because it's it sucks, I'm injured, right? So we don't wanna have that. And also if you build your glute strength up, it becomes a lot better overall. So here I tried two plates and uh, honestly felt like absolute crap, it hurt. And I think I did two reps, it moved pretty good, but as you can see, they did two reps and then stop. And uh, honestly, focusing on my glutes though and getting everything right, activating your glutes is one of the biggest muscles in your body, so you'll be stronger by doing that anyway. So it's better to relearn all this properly. So right here, back down to 135. Um, just did a couple more sets, not heavy. Oh my goodness, how long did I stand there for? So just again, squeezing through my glutes and we're really just going through the motions here. Um, first squat session back, mobility is good. That's the important thing. And uh, we're gonna be getting back up to some heavy weights soon. I'm really excited for that. I'm excited to feel good in the gym. So after this set, I moved on and did some, uh, a few sets of back extensions, but not going all the way up, just hitting my hamstrings. I go all the way up, my glute really hurts. And the physio told me not to go past the point where it hurts. So that's why I'm going with such a small range of motion. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm excited to get back in the gym and uh, hit my legs. So I'll talk to you guys right now. Yeah, so I'm back from the gym and uh, honestly workout felt pretty good overall. I was excited to be able to deadlift. It's a couple hours later and my glutes sore, but not nearly as bad as it would be if I did this like weeks ago. So um, I'm excited. Things are moving in the right direction. Um, I have to just take it easy, honestly. I shouldn't have gotten down two plates on squats and I shouldn't have done four or five on deadlift. I just keep it smart. Just go through the motions, really focusing on strengthening my glutes. So tomorrow I will be doing uh, hip, ex hip thrusts and uh, a tiny little bit of quads. That's all I could do tonight. Honestly, that's literally, literally all I did for my workout. I tried to do a couple sets of hamstring curls at the end and honestly, my glutes just hurt too much. So hit it, uh, got done what I had to get done. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go and do some light hip hip thrust, strengthen my glutes more. I really have to focus on strength my glutes and hamstrings. They're a weak point and uh, prevent injury and also Activating your glutes is gonna make me so much stronger. My, my squat has always been one of my weakest lifts. You guys know that. And uh, activating your glute instead of just using your freaking quad will probably be important in getting myself up to a 500 pound squat, right? Like this makes sense. So uh, I've always said my glutes, my squat sucks. Well, now I know the reason why and now I'm gonna fix it. So uh, pretty much 
glad that was the workout. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it was useful. If you guys have problems where your knees are going in, stuff like that, it's very likely glute and hamstring strength. So that took me a long time to figure out. I had to injure myself to figure this out. So if I can help one of you guys not have to do that, then uh, that's worth it to me. So anyway, I'm excited to be back in the gym and I, I enjoy deadlifting and squatting. I really do. And I know we hate doing it sometimes because it's hard, but at the end of the day, you don't, you don't miss something until you can't do it. So uh, I want to be healthy. I want to feel good. And um, we're putting size on. So we're putting a little bit of fat on around the area too. I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing. And we're going to get a massive butt, I guess, because uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for some of my focus for the next uh, couple months is just putting as much size on my glutes and hamstrings as possible. So uh, if you want to follow Bikini Girl work, it's essentially follow me. No, I'm kidding. I'll be doing heavy ass bench too. Um, so I started focusing on my breathing, which I talked about. Uh, so basically I'm inhaling and bracing my core. And then I exhale and suck my stomach in. And it's made a big difference. You can do some research on breathing techniques, stuff like that. That's helped me feel a lot better too. And when I tighten my core, my glute doesn't hurt as much. And I can activate it. So it all ties together. I'm happy to be working with somebody that, uh, or going and talking to somebody that knows what they're talking about and can help me fix my body and stay healthy and prevent injuries in the future, which is the whole goal is to not get injured to begin with. So... We're going to fix this problem first, and then we're going to talk about what I should be doing to prevent myself from ever getting injured. So, because let's be honest, a lot of us do this in the gym. We focus on certain muscle groups. We neglect weak points. And over time, your weak points are only as strong as your weakest link. Eventually, that's going to snap. It's kind of like a chain. If you start off, let's say your weak link, that's fine. You start off, you're only tugging a couple hundred pounds, not the end of the world. Go try to tug a thousand pounds, and all of a sudden it snaps in half. Because that one weak link gives out. It's just like this. My glute was fine up until the point that I squatted over 400 pounds, essentially. And at that point, it stopped liking me. Quads were strong enough. That Everything else was strong enough. Glute wasn't. And it gave some, it has some issues. So to, sometimes getting stronger is what it takes to figure out some of your weak points. But we should be preventing this stuff to begin with. And it's my own, it's my own fault. I've known my glutes and hamstrings have been weak for years and I've ignored it. So I'm paying for it now. Hopefully you guys don't make the same stupid mistakes. Train your glutes, guys. Trust me, it's not fun not being able to lift heavy in the gym. It sucks. But anyway, that being said, um, I am going to be doing a heavy ass bench day tomorrow. I'm super excited. Uh, we're going to hit something freaking heavy. I uh, can't wait uh, with my feet on the ground for bench. So definitely... Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon.